UMass Boston women's basketball at home taking on New England College. The Beacons looking to get back on track after losing to Eastern Connecticut State University over the weekend and only shooting 19% from the floor. Paige Olivier would help get the Beacons in front with a three-pointer in that layup right there, 7-6. Beacons would jump out to a 13-6 advantage before Lara Matthias would go on an 8-0 run of her own, hitting two three-pointers from just about the same spot. And then on the very next play, going in for the layup right here, to help give New England College a 14-13 advantage late in the first quarter. But then the Beacons would score on this fast break with Sabela Jensen, and then they would go up for good in this game. Not to say that the game was close, though, and down to the wire right here from Dixon lays it up and in to give the Beacons a one-point advantage. Sonny Green had herself a day, hits that three from the left side to help put the Beacons up by five, and then Meg Dixon with the layup, In the middle of the paint, helps put them up by seven. Sonny Green then, once again with a three, just steps back on her defender, nails it from the top of the key. And then in the second half, the Beacons up by seven. Meg Dixon from the corner hits a three. And then right after that, Carrie Ann Farina is going to hit this left side jumper to help put the Beacons up by 12. They lead by as many as 14 in the contest. And then Sabela Jensen here on the fast break layup puts the Beacons up by 11. They look like they're in full control. This would be the turning point as Macy Gordon is fouled by Carrie Ann Farina, which would send her to the line for three free throws. She'd hit two of them and then miss the third. Ball gets hit around. New England College maintains possession. Gordon in the corner hits this three. It becomes a six-point game heading into the fourth. Beacons would go back up by nine, and then Erica Pratt with the steal helps make it a seven-point deficit for the Pioneers, and then Macy Gordon hits the right side three. It's now a four-point game. Sonny Green would look to put the dagger in it for the Beacons, hits this jumper, makes it a nine-point game with 245 remaining, and then Meg Dixon hitting this free throw would make it a seven-point game with just over 30 seconds left, but then Mackenzie McDonald would be the scorer for the Pioneers. Hits a corner three. Suddenly, it's now a four-point game. Dixon would miss a pair of free throws. And then McDonald, the other way, hits that three-pointer. It's a one-point game with four seconds left. And Meg Dixon hits a pair of free throws, puts the Beacons up by three. One last chance for the Pioneers. It would be Mackenzie McDonald again with Paige Olivier all over her. It falls just short. It was right on target as the Beacons escape with the 68-65 victory at home, snapping their two-game losing streak. Dixon leading the way with 22 points on 6 of 16 shooting. Sunny Green, 14 points on 5 of 9 shooting, 4 for 7 from 3. The Beacons as a team shooting 24 of 56, 42.9% on the day. The Beacons hit the road tomorrow night for an LEC matchup against WestCon on the road at 5 p.m.